Hey everybody, Joe Lowry, what a day. Happy Tuesday to you out there. Um, I read somewhere Tuesday is a uh, re-gifted Monday, so to speak, but all I know is tomorrow's hump day, and I usually call that the week's middle finger. So, uh, anyways, what a day, huh? I tell you, we survived the storm, blizzard 2017 in our rearview mirror now. I spent most of Sunday uh, doing two things, shoveling and watching football, and oh, I'm sorry, the third thing, eating as well. As you know, I do like to uh, publicize some of my fare on Facebook, courtesy of Baby Cakes, so uh, check that out. But anyways, I'm up to 93 subscribers, in case anybody noticed. I'm seven away from the illustrious 100 um, to get my own URL on YouTube, and it doesn't stop there, folks. You know, we got to get this thing to the moon and back and so forth. And it started out Sunday uh, evening. I got a great endorsement by the legendary wrestling hall of fame journalist um an idol of mine growing up bill after and i can't thank bill enough for um that endorsement out there he's subscribed he gave me a great video promo if you haven't seen it check it out on youtube or you can upload it on my facebook page either way but um i'm at 93 looking for seven more i know they're out there and i know there's plenty more to come so everybody's looking for more content they're looking for more chatter they're looking for everything and you know it's funny i came home from work today turned the news on i saw an interesting story a guy in Michigan got fined, uh, I think it was like a hundred something dollars, for idling his car in the driveway. And what happened was, is he got a ticket, he warmed up his car, and I guess a police officer came by and noticed that it was idling for longer expended time, whatever, and got a ticket. And of course, my question right away is, I can't believe this. What, what does Massachusetts have for an idling law? And of course, if you Google it up right here, it's right here. There is a Massachusetts anti-idling law, and this uh, idling law is not for safety reasons. It's not for anti-theft reasons. Believe it or not, it's to improve air quality by reducing unnecessary air pollution from idling vehicles. Uh, the law limits unnecessary engine idling to five minutes. So I thought that was pretty interesting, and as, so I, of course I look into it a little more. And um, you know, there are some exemptions to the idling law. And one of them, believe it or not, is uh, running the engine to operate the windshield defroster to clear a windshield of ice on an extremely cold day. I'm reading this verbatim, so excuse me. Is a good example of necessary idling. It's a safety problem if you cannot see where you're going and if the windshield is not warm enough to melt snow and freezing rain while driving. So running the engine while actively clearing snow and ice off the vehicle and to warm the windshield and interior is what they consider necessary idling. Um, you can go to the Massachusetts.gov website. You have a whole listing there about that, but I just thought that was interesting. I'm throwing it out there. What do you guys think of the Massachusetts anti-idling law? Is it really for the pollution aspect or, you know, and another thing I found out, I was clicking around, jumping on here, that we have, um, there is a guy, this is a paid position. I'm trying to pull it up here, but there's a paid position where there is a guy who walks around, he's a program, he's an air quality program manager for the city of Boston. And I, I was trying to pull up a salary, but I'll pull it up later. But, you know, maybe you guys can help me out with that. But he walks around the city of Boston looking for idling vehicles, whether they're cabs, trucks, buses, you name it. He's walking around the streets of Boston looking for idling vehicles. And I think that is an absolute riot. Um, is that really where our tax money should be going? Does Quincy have that? I, I mean, does Brockton have that? I'm not sure if it goes town by town, but I was just, you know, Boston is the first thing that pulls up. So I wanted everyone to make that aware. So that's my topic for today. Give me some feedback. What do you think of the Massachusetts anti-idling law? Is it something that should just go away? Or is it something that's, um, is it beneficial? Are we making money off it? If, the, if who's been fined? Has anybody been fined out there? You tell me. Has anybody gotten a ticket for uh, idling their vehicle? And this doesn't always constitute uh, winter weather either. They're looking at, you know, running for air conditioner too in the summer times. And they consider that um, excessive idling and so forth. But um, once again, 93 subscribers. I'm hoping to get seven more for that illustrious 100. I know you're out there. Please um, tell your friends, tell your family, tell coworkers, tell your colleagues, tell anybody, dogs, cats, chickens, whatever. Just get on out there, get me to 100, get my own um, YouTube URL. That'll help everybody to search me and find me easier. We'll be on our way. Content and um, more variety, more everything is coming up. Um, I'm Joe Lowry. What a day.